Hi and welcome back to Divine Lady Design Studio. For those that don't know, my name's Nicole Reed, and today I'm making something a little bit special for my kids. They have been eyeing off these mugs for a while. They see them around on the internet and whatnot. These are glitter dip. Well, they're not actually dipped. They're more sprinkled. Uh, glitter mugs. And I'm going to show you how to make them using some specialty products. They don't take too long to make itself. You'll need to set aside a day, but you'll also need to set these aside to cure for about 28 days. So I thought I'd get in now because I know myself I would forget and get them done for Christmas because, as I said, they've been eyeing them off for a while. So let's get started. To make our glitter cups today you're going to need a few things you're going to need some glitter obviously now I like to use a really fine glitter not a chunky glitter so I found the best place to get that is um, you can always find a supply of it on either eBay or Amazon and I'll put a couple of links down below where you can grab that from um, you can use look for anything that um, is used for nail art or body art because that's really really fine and that's what you want okay so I, you can see here I've got a selection of colors I just keep them in Ziploc bags um, and then I have them in a container like another bag and then they sit in a container where they're nice and safe and high up where the kids can't get them because if they get hold of this really fine glitter it will be years before you get rid of it out of your house. We all know how glitter goes. All right, you're also going to need some um, dish dishwasher safe Mod Podge for this project. Okay, um, it is really important that you get the dishwasher safe one. Otherwise, you won't be able to uh, wash your uh, mug and um, you won't be able to either put it into the um, into the, the dishwasher and it always needs to go up on the top shelf but it explains everything on the label you're going to need some paper towel I like to use these sponge um, brushes you're also going to need some rubbing alcohol and some uh, little cotton pads of course you're going to need your coffee mug I'm just using these plain uh, mugs I got a whole heap of these in bulk and you're also going to need some paper, um, paper and some painter's tape. Um, I like to just use a little cup for mine, but you can get them with shakers, pair of scissors, and of course you're also going to need a small paintbrush as well. All right, so I'm just going to move all this out of the way and we're going to get started. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to do is you're just going to get a piece of paper. Okay, you are going to make a little bit of mess, so you just you just need to be aware of that. And then you're going to sit that piece just in front of you and then you'll set your second piece away from you. Okay, now it's really important if you were doing this for a gift, you need to do this at least a month in advance, okay? Because it does take 28 days to cure, so it is um, dishwasher safe. All right, so we're going to go through the first steps of what we need to do. And the first thing that you need to do is you need to grab your mug and your pa painter's tape. Okay, place your paper down. It doesn't matter if it moves at this point. And all you're going to do is you're going to wrap some painter's tape around your mug. And I just, generally I just start near the handle. Okay, and just roll it over so it doesn't roll away from me. And I will just cut off a piece of painter's tape. I just sort of eyeball it so it makes sure that it reaches around. A little bit more than I probably need. And then I just let it coil up on itself. Okay, and then just near the handle, on these particular mugs, I really like to sort of um, just come down a little ways from the, the handle, and then I'm just going to place my painter's tape just underneath, and it can be a little bit tricky, okay, and I want to get that as straight as possible. And I don't go right underneath the handle because I've got to be able to peel this off a little bit later. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some tension on that and keep that going around the mug in a straight line. Okay, trying not to get any bubbles. And making sure that is going to meet up back underneath the handle so you can see there that I've come right around the mug and my painters tape is now aligning up okay so I've got this nice clean line 
all the way around I've got no bubbles or anything like that so that's very important that you keep it nice and straight and you're going around and I can eyeball that and see that that is the same distance on on this side of the mug and also on this side of the mug and I can see my painters tape is lining up quite nicely and when it comes time to removing it I know that I don't have to get under this handle and worry about bumping um, any of the glitter off okay so the next piece that we need to cut is just a small bit and that's for on our handle okay so all I'm going to do is I'm going to sit the mug up like so and I can see where the line is going to be and I'm just going to line that up I can see there that it's lining up nicely probably can't see that but you'll understand when you're looking down over the top of the mug this line should line up with this line and that is just a little bit out so I'm just going to remove that okay and I always start on the top and bring it around okay now that piece of tape was not big enough okay because we want to be able to cover all the cup and I do it every time on the handles I never cut it big enough you think I would have been onto that already all right so I'm making that one piece a little bit bigger and I'll just cut that off and I know that that is now going to go around so again I come back and I'm just going to line that up okay wrap that around now you will because of the nature of the handle you will get some bubbles on that just make sure that the bottom part is the part that is really secured you don't need to stress too much about the top bit okay and you're just going to wrap that around nice and tight and you're going to come across and then all I like to do is just fold this bit under so I've got something to grab hold of when I need to peel that off so I can see there that that is lining up just nicely sometimes if you turn it this way and you look at it you'll see that the line is continuing on and you can see I'm not sure if you can see that on camera but I've got a nice line and that is the same distance all right so now that we've done that what we need to do next is we need to clean our mug up a bit we need to take the oils off our hand that we've now um, put transferred onto that mug and to do that all you need to do is get a little bit of the rubbing alcohol I like to use this brand it's in my um, first aid kit so I've always got it here for cuts and scrapes and all the rest of it and I just get a makeup pad and on the smooth side this has got a quilted side and a non-quilted side I um, put it on the quilted side and it doesn't matter whether it does have that or not makes no difference whatsoever okay and then all I do is spray a little bit on and then I'm just going to clean that mug up okay get rid of any dust or any oil from my hand making sure that I do the handle as well okay now if you don't like the smell of rubbing alcohol I suggest you do this in a well ventilated area or possibly have a fan on okay so now that that is done it is drying off I'm just going to sit that down there and let that dry off and then I can set my um, cotton swab aside and we can move on to the next step the next step is to take our Mod Podge and give it a really good shake And then all I do is I just open it up, take off my little seal, it's my little cardboard seal, and I just sit that into the, the um, lid and set that aside. And I'm just going to grab my sponge, put my hand into my um, cup without touching the bottom part of it. You can touch underneath, it's just the, the sides that we just cleaned we don't want to touch. And then all we're going to do is put a nice coat of the mod podge on okay now you want to get every piece of the mug and it's really hard to see because um it is white but we're in person you can see it going on you don't want it clumpy so see how i've got big ridges of it there you don't want that you want it nice and smooth and you want a decent coat on there okay and i'm just getting rid of all those lumpy bits there now when you need to turn the handle use the top part of the handle okay and again 
just going around and getting rid of all those ridges and you want to work quickly here too you don't want to um, end up with parts that are dry and other parts that have got big bumps on them so you want to work quickly as possible and you want to cover all of the handle as well underneath as well as on top okay and with the handle you sometimes will get some bubbles happening there just use the edge of your foam and that will get rid of it for you okay and then you're just going to go along and make sure that you've got all those ridges out and I'll go around a second time and just gently smooth it as I said if I've got to I'll go that way underneath and there we go okay so we can set that aside for now all right um, I can see there that I've got a couple of little bumps underneath so I'm just going to grab my little foam brush and get those out of there the foam sometimes makes it um, foam up under like get little bubbles and whatnot under there but they're easily to get um, remove all right so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to set that aside just for a second and then I'm going to grab my glitter and I'm going to use purple today but I'm actually making these as gifts. I'm getting in a little bit quick for um, quicker for Christmas this year and I'm making these for the girls as presents. I always usually try to make them a homemade um, present and they seem to be really obsessed with mugs at the moment. So I thought, well, this is perfect. So they'll all get one. Okay, so I've got my glitter um, and I've just put a little bit in at a time and then over my page, I'm just going to start sprinkling that as even as possible now don't worry about the excess we can put that back into the cup if we need to if we need more okay and you just want to liberally um, put glitter all over the Mod Podge that we've just put down okay so you can see that I'm covering it and then I'm just going to come over to the handle give that a good going over underneath the sides need to get everywhere okay it's a nice purple too I'm really liking this purple okay so I'm just going to turn that and again I'm just going to put that all over and if you think you've missed anywhere if that's okay we can just go over it again The handle is the trickiest one to do so i sort of like to come at it from every angle but i can see there that i've pretty much got it all now okay so that is basically it for um, about 10 minutes now okay we're going to i just give it a bit of a tap Get off that excess okay okay so you can see there it's just taking off some of that excess and then I just have a quick look around and see if there's any spots that I may need to put a little bit more glitter on or some Mod Podge or anything like that but that is looking pretty good okay so what we're going to do now is we're going to set that aside for 10 minutes so that's what your other piece of paper is for so just set that aside there for 10 minutes and then we're going to come back and we're going to peel off that tape and then we'll set it aside okay so we've got all this glitter everywhere so what we need to do now is this is where the piece of paper comes in real handy we just gently pick that up and we fold that in half like so and then all our glitter is in that piece of paper and you can use that for your next cup if you're going to do a set of purple or you can just pop that back into the container okay so 10 minutes has passed so you just want to grab your a cup that you've put your glitter on okay making sure that you're not touching the glitter because it needs to sit for a little while yet but what you're going to do is just put your hand in and you can see here where I left it earlier 
I'm just going to gently peel that around, okay, without touching the glitter. Okay, and then I'm just going to slowly peel that off. Okay, making sure that I don't go too fast because I don't want to remove the glitter that I've put on there. Remembering this is still very wet. So you can see there I've got a nice line and I'm really happy with that. Even underneath, I'm not sure if you can see that on camera, but even underneath it's nice and straight and a neat line. So now what we need to do is we need to find the beginning of our line on the mug. And that's just here. And that's why I moved it away from the handle so I could get into that nice and easy. Now, all you're going to do again is you're just going to gently bring that through without touching anywhere of the glitter. And you're going to peel it nice and slow away from the glitter. So you can see there I'm pulling it away from where the glitter is. Okay. And then just gently unstick it from your fingers. Okay, careful not to get onto the glitter. So you can see why I'm pulling away because it'll curl away from the glitter. And I'm just going to slowly turn that around. And again, moving away nice and slow from the glitter. And you can see there that I'm getting a beautiful straight line. Okay, and coming around to the edge now don't worry if any glitter goes onto the top part of the mug because there's no mod podge there it's not going to stick okay so you can see there that i've got a nice clean line get that tape off me all right all the way around nothing has pulled away and that's why you need to pull away from the glitter now remembering this is still wet so if you do get any glitter um that's pulled away you can always put a little bit of mod podge on your finger and just add some more glitter to that um, at this point i like to just go along with a dry brush and get rid of all those excess bits of glitter that may have gone onto the top of the cup okay they may have a little bit of mod, mod podge on them so you just want it to go away from that okay and we get rid of that all the way around it. But that was pretty good. Like it came off pretty clear. All right. So now what you're going to do again, you're going to just sit that aside and you're going to let that set for the next hour. Then we'll come back and we'll apply. We'll get rid of some of the um, excess glitter and then we'll apply our first coat. Okay. So an hour's passed and we are up to the next part. Now you can use just a normal paintbrush for this, but I actually like to use just an old um blush brush that i get i get this from like a cheap shop and it doesn't cost very much at all so basically what you're going to do now like if you bang this down you'll see that excess glitter comes off so we're up to putting our next coat on so what you want to do is you want to get rid of some of that excess glitter so just gently give it a bit of a um so you can see that it's coming off. So you just want to gently take off that excess. Now, if you find that it's it's going down to the cup, then you might have to leave it a little bit longer. You may have been a little bit thicker in those places. But you can see here, I've got a, a blue one that I'm also doing. And that's got nothing coming off it now. And I've also got a gold one as well. Now, if you don't have a brush, that's fine. Just tap it. Okay, and you can see that that will come off as well. Alternatively, you could take it outside and blow on it as well. All right, so I'm just going to gently take off that excess uh, glitter. And then I will just, um, but you can see there, it's still a little bit wet there. So I'm just going to leave that for a little while and I'm just going to grab the blue one and see how we go with that. And I can see that this one is pretty much dry I'm not even getting any sort of excess coming off because I've already sort of gone over it so basically what you need to do I'm actually doing um four at the moment <laughs> so I've got purple and I've got a gold one and I've got a blue one and I've also got a pink one but I know that this one's not dry because I um it's only been sitting there for 45 minutes um so basically what I need to do now is I basically get all the glitter off as I said this one here probably needs to just sit a little bit longer um because you can see here it's just come off a little bit and that's what you don't want so you want it to be completely dry and um covering everything now if you should happen to do it a little bit early and it actually has done that don't worry about putting any 
um, Mod Podge on that for now. Just let it dry for maybe another half an hour. It may have been just a little bit thicker in these spots. And when I put the second coat on, I'll put a little bit of glitter on then and then let that um, sit there and dry. But for now, I'm just going to sit there at the side and we're going to move on and I'll show you what to do with this particular one here. So once you've got all the glitter off and you're pretty happy with how it's um, it's going and like I'm not even getting anything off this now which is really good so I'm safe now to um, give that a really good um, well the second coat of uh, of Mod Podge which is the first on top of the glitter all right so I'm just going to get rid of this glitter all right so now we're going to grab our Mod Podge again you're going to give that a really good shake It's a rather cool day here today, so everything is taking a lot longer to dry. And we're going to grab our sponge. And then we are going to put a nice even layer all over the glitter. Okay, and then we're going to set it aside for a couple of hours to dry. Um, at this stage, I've done these before, and at this stage, I would probably leave it for about an hour and a half to two hours. Check it to see that it's all dry and clear and then you can put on your second and third coat so this is the first one after we've put the glitter and we're just going to smooth that across trying not to get onto the cup up the top where there's no glitter okay and basically what this is going to do is it's going to seal it okay and you want to cover all the glitter now glitter is very 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 easy to see if you've got any of this over it so you can see the difference there between where there is no mod podge and where there is some mod podge and if you look down here you can see there's a little bit that didn't actually get on um, any mod podge on it so you can just go over it so just go around checking to make sure that that everything is covered it will be very sparkly so you'll be able to see it quite clearly okay and then you're going to go around again you don't want big blobs of it because that will make it harder and take longer for it to dry um, especially on a cool day like we've got here today and again you're just going to do your handle you may have to just tap it to get it into the places that you need to get it into so especially down in this around where the handle attaches you want to make sure that that is all covered as well all right, so basically we're going to do this, and I'm going to do this to all my cups. As I said, I'm going to have to wait for that um, purple one to dry a little bit more, and I am going to have to just drop a little bit of where that little bit came off. I'm just going to have to drop a little bit of um, glitter onto that once the Mod Podge is back on there again. Now, um, this will take a little while to dry, okay? So this is not something that you want to rush. But what will happen is it will dry clear and you won't be able to see it and the glitter will be sparkly again and then you'll know that it's completely dry and then you can put your second and third coat on. Okay, so a couple of hours has passed and we're up to our second coat so you can see here the blue one is all nice and dry so we can start putting a coat on that and we've also got our gold one and also our purple one and I fixed up that purple one as well where the marks had come off and you can see here all right so I've got off all the excess off the purple one so we can put that second coat on so all you're going to do now is do exactly the same thing now once you put this second coat on you're going to let that dry for a couple of hours and then you're going to put a third coat on and then we'll be finished then we will set that aside for 28 days and let it cure and then it'll be ready for the dishwasher so you can see how once it's dry you can see all that glitter again so it's nice and clear and it dries fairly quick 
Um, on a warmer day, as I said, um, it's fairly cold here today. So on an uh, on a warmer day, it actually dries a little bit quicker. So I've actually had to leave this for um, nearly two hours at this point. So again, I will put a coat on, make sure that all the glitter is covered. And then I will clean up my edges and then I will wait for it to dry again and put another coat on. And then the next time we come back, it will be all done. And then you can just, as I said, you can just set that aside. And um, yeah, and then let it cure for 28 days. much for joining me today I really do hope that you enjoyed the little tutorial on how to make a glitter dipped or look <laughs> coffee mug they're super easy and super fun to make this is something you could actually make with the kids I really do enjoy making these sort of things where the kids can get involved and whatnot um, now don't forget to set it aside for 28 days because it has to cure before you can put it into the dishwasher. You can see by my hands, I've washed up and, and everything like that, and it's not coming off anymore. So it is actually on there, but just remember to leave them aside for 28 days so they can cure, and then that way, when the kids are helping you out with the dishes, they don't they can go in the dishwasher and they don't have to think about it. Again, just write the date in um, a whiteboard marker on the bottom when it's ready to use if you're making a lot of them and you're making them over several different days that way you've got a, a note there of what to do all right so if you like this video today give it a thumbs up down below don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring that little bell as well and then that way you'll get all future notifications I'd just like to say thank you so much for uh, joining me again this week. And for those that don't know, my name's Nicole Reed for Divine Lee Design Studio, and I'll see you all again next time. Bye for now. Yeah.